This video will teach you three tips about editing master slides in Google Slides. You'll learn what master slides are as I show you three things you can do with them to make your life a little easier. This video is organized into three tips. You can watch all tips or just the parts that match your answer to the question, how much spice would you like? The three tips are organized by level of comfort with technology. Mild, medium, and spicy. First, we'll start with our mild tip. This is for the learner who says, just give me one simple tip I can use to make my life easier or prettier. Our mild tip is a colors and fonts makeover. I'll be teaching you how to use the master slide to quickly change fonts and or colors of all slides. So here I have the slide presentation that I'm working on and that I'll be practicing our tips in today. To access master slides, you can click on slide up across the top toolbar here and you'll see edit master. This is where you'll edit the master slides for all of these tips in the video. So I'll click edit master and the master slide itself is this very top slide here. We have the master slide, all layout slides are down below. We'll just be focusing on this top one. So if you have slides that you don't like either the color or the font of for the header or the body text, you can change that from the master slide here and it will apply to every single layout and all slides that you have in your presentation. So say I'm not feeling this slide, this uh, font here, I can go ahead and change that maybe to something more playful. I could even change the color if it suits my mood. So any changes that you make here and here will then take place when I X out of my master slides. They will take place here. So you can see we've now got our new fonts. Next, we have our medium tip. This is for the learner who says, I like a little heat. Give me a new idea to consider that I don't know about yet. Our medium tip is called, I'll just slide in here. This tip will teach you how to edit the master slides by duplicating a similar slide layout to the one you'd like to have and create a new format of slide to use in your slide menu. So for this next tip, when I click into my slide layout here, my menu, I can see that I have a title and two columns but what I'd like to have is four boxes. So what I'm going to teach you with editing master slides is how to create a new layout so that you can have four boxes in there. So if you click up top to slide and then click edit master, we're going to find that two column layout and duplicate this slide for, from within our master slides here. So we'll copy and paste and we're going to edit this new layout that we've created down here. So we can have our box by dragging that. I'm going to copy and paste it and send it down toward the bottom. And we'll repeat the process on the right side here. Have it, copy and paste it, and bring it all the way down to the bottom. And now you can see up here, it's called title and two columns with a number next to it. You can rename this to the new layout that you've created. So I'll call this title and four boxes. And when I X out of my master slides, you'll see any new slide layout that you make will be popped down to the bottom here of your menu. So when I click on that, I have my new layout. Last, we have our spicy tip. This is for the learner who says, the hotter the better. Give me a challenging idea I can really sink my teeth into. Our spicy tip is called, you shall not change. This tip will teach you how to create an unchangeable slide in master slides so that students can't manipulate any of the text on it. This is especially handy for direction slides in shared collaborative Google Slides. Now I'm back in my slides and I've gone ahead and created a slide design directions 
slide that I want my students to take a look at so that as they're creating with a partner or team, they have all of the directions and examples that they might need on one slide. We all know the problem with this though is that sometimes students can delete important things and before you know it, they have no idea what they're actually expected to do. So we're going to avoid this by creating a new slide layout um, in our master slides that we can just add in at whim. So your first step is to create the slide, everything that you need, and use Snagit to screenshot that slide so you have a full image of it. So I've already gone ahead and done that, and I have my slide ready to go here. So I'm going to go into Slide and Edit Master, and I'm gonna create a new slide. Because it doesn't really matter, I'm picking the blank one down here and I'm copying and pasting this one so I have less that I'm covering up. Now I'll go back into Snagit. I'll select my image and copy it. I'll come back over to my new blank slide and I'll paste this image in. And I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag so that it fills the entire slide. And right now it says that it's called blank one. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to teacher directions. So now when I X out, I have this as an option. So this is the slide that I created. When I go into slide layout, this is now an option and I'm gonna add this in. So as you can see in the slides now, I can't do anything with this slide. And a great benefit is, even if students are working in the slides and they accidentally delete the slide, it's not really a problem. We can add it back in from the menu. Finally, if you're interested in a Carolina Reaper level of spice, where the heat is so intense you almost cry and you're not sure you'll be able to finish the whole plate, you'll have to wait. Guides are coming soon on how to make your own slide templates from scratch. Thank you so much for watching.